Hi again. In this lesson, we're going to talk about async function in Python programming language. Let's say that we want to define an async function. Let's call it async function hi with argument, for example, name. And let's say that our async function returns hello or hi, better say hi, plus that name. And let's define similar normal function in Python programming language. Let's call it hi and let's put exact the same argument name and let's say return hi plus name. Let's say that we want to run our function to call it. Let's call our normal Python function hi and let's put as an argument name John and we will get result hi John. But what will happen if we try to call our async function and provide to it same argument. We will get some answer as coroutine object a high and some part of memory. It doesn't matter. Uh, the thing that is very interesting in this case is that async function is not as normal function. You can call you can call it as a normal function, but you must provide some other function to call your async function. That async function needs to be driven by some other function. So let's define another function that will drive our async function. I'll call it with funny name drive async high and I will provide coroutine as an argument. Our coroutine will be our a high function. First, uh, we need to send without with, with our coroutine something, but I don't want to send anything special, so my coroutine will send none. And we want to catch our exception stop iteration as e and we will return e dot value so we have our function uh, with which our a high async function will be driven so if we want to call our async function we will say drive that is funny name just for better understanding how things work how things works we will call our function and as coroutine we will put our async function a high and we'll provide as an argument john okay we will get an error but if we try to call it again we will get an answer. But the reason for this warning is because at first coroutine a high was never awaited. That's because we call our function here and we get something which is not 
expected at starting point but every time if you want to call any time your function you can call it with no problem that's all in this lesson thanks for watching happy coding